Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day today. So for today's video, it's obviously gonna be my project pan update. I don't know whether this is update number three. I think, I could be wrong. It'll be in the title anyway. But I'm so excited to get into today's update, guys. Like, just you wait. Anyway, don't mind the fact that I look like a little egg. I really like these little headbands, but I have such a round face. It just makes me look like an egg. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing because I'm really trying to hit 700 subscribers before my birthday and we are so freaking close. Leave a like if you enjoy and let's get into it. So, I feel like I'm definitely overdue an update. I feel like I actually missed one, but I'm not 100% sure. I went on holiday. Um, I 100% missed one because I went on holiday and I was supposed to film one when I got back and I never did. So this is technically like two months worth of usage, but I have done so well, guys. Anyway, <laughs> let's just go in order of how I do my makeup. So first of all, my very first product is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. So I've used this a lot. I took this on holiday with me. It was the only primer. No, that is a lie. I took another primer on holiday with me and I used that primer once. So other than that, this is the only primer that I used. So I've used this product 16 times since the last update and I got so close, but I haven't quite finished it yet. Like there is literally the teeniest, tiniest bit left in there. And I'm so excited. Like. I feel like next month, this should be done. I feel like that could easily be done by next month. I am filming this on the 6th, so I've kind of missed a week already. But I still think that the, so long as I do my makeup just a few times, this should be empty. If not, two months and it will be gone regardless. Because sometimes I don't do my makeup a whole lot. But I can't wait to see the progress picture from the previous update to this one because I know I made some good progress on this. And yeah, oh, I'm getting so excited. Okay, the next product, honestly, I'm not all that happy about. So it's the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Now, first of all, I only used this three times. There is a reason for that and that is because I am decluttering it. I've made the decision to declutter it. This stinks guys like it's a hundred percent gone off like it it smells like ass like it stinks and i just don't feel comfortable using that on my face anymore and my skin has been struggling anyway and i really don't want to use this and just contribute to my skin struggling so i've made a decision to declutter it i am really really sad because i actually love this product and i was going to repurchase this one but i'm actually going to purchase the elf one first and try that one because that one's supposed to be amazing so yeah i'm going to try that one first before repurchasing this one but we made like some decent progress on it there's like this much of the product left i probably could have made a new line i didn't bother because i only used it three times and i really don't think you're going to see that much of a difference but as you can see it is windowing just a little bit further down than the line um i probably had just less than a quarter of the product left but this is so expensive that it hurts my soul to have to declutter this but it's what I have to do at the end of the day. The next product is my foundation. So that is the EX1 Invisiwear foundation. And I am really, really enjoying this foundation. Like honestly, I'm really, really enjoying it. I do have to mix it with one of my concealers just to make it a little bit lighter because this does lean a little bit orangey on me. I feel like if I had fake tan on, this would actually be quite a nice shade for me. So I am considering fake tanning because I've not done that in a while anyway. But I didn't take this on holiday with me, but I have still used this a whole lot. So I have used this product 12 times since the last update and I thought the jump would be so much bigger, but it's not. And that's because, because I'm mixing it with a concealer, I'm only using half a pump anyway, but we definitely got some good movement on there. Like that is really good progress in my opinion. But the fact that that has been one of my best months like worth of progress and I've only moved that much makes me so nervous because there's so much product left. I think there's, I think we're literally just under halfway now. I think we've got just less than half the product left. 
and I'm so nervous because I really wanted to empty two foundations this year and I just I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to because I think this is still going to be in this project for maybe like four months you know because I just don't use a whole lot of foundation I don't feel like I need to I much prefer like a skin tint nowadays so with like a full coverage foundation it's just it's not ideal but yeah I am gonna keep persevering on this. I'm not gonna stop until it's empty or until, you know, it if it goes off or anything like that because I have had this for a while. But yeah, I think we've still got about four months left with this. But I am enjoying the foundation, so at least it's not like a pain to use. Now on to some more exciting stuff, I would say. So next up we have my concealer. So the concealer I've been working on is the Revolution Conceal, Conceal, Concealer. And it's the Conceal Undefined Infinite Concealer. And I had mine in the shade C0.5. I would not purchase this again, but I have some very good news. I used it seven times and it is completely empty. I've completely emptied it. And when I say completely empty it, yeah, You'll be able to see it in the like progress pictures anyway, but look how empty that is. I've never seen such an empty concealer in all of my life. The wand is empty too. Like there's a little bit of product there, but not enough to actually do anything. So yeah, it's empty and I'm so proud of myself and one less concealer in my drawers and I'm so excited for that because I really want to get my concealer collection down. I just, I really want to get it down because the concealers I have in there, I don't really like a lot of them. I think there's two of them that I can use under my eyes and that is it. All the rest of them are way too dry in and just crease up under my eyes, look horrendous. So we're finally getting there. One less concealer. I just, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> and then the next product I can't wait to see the progress picture on this. So it is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Tan Lines and I use this 17 times. I use this a lot and I love this bronzer. One thing I will say is when I use it on my forehead and then set with powder, I seem to lose the bronzer completely. I don't really know why that happens because it doesn't happen on my cheeks. I don't know, but yeah, I used it 17 times and you guys will have seen in the progress a picture, but look how big that pan is. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's still a ton of product around the sides. I'm currently working on this side and just trying to like work away it that way, but I'm so excited. I still think this is gonna be in this project for probably like the same as the foundation, probably about three, four months. Um, I'm just, I, I like the product anyway, and this is definitely the oldest cream bronzer I have, so I definitely want to keep working on it and get it out of my collection, hopefully by the end of the year, and I think three and four months, three to four months, sorry, this should be out if I keep using it the way I have. And I've really been enjoying doing my makeup lately, so... Hopefully I can carry on with that trend. <laughs> then the last product I have to talk about is my lip gloss. Now I am a little bit disappointed in myself because I really thought I might be able to have this out, but sadly that just wasn't in the cards. So I used the lip gloss 12 times and it's obviously the e.l.f. Um, Mint Melt Lip Plumping, Plumping Gloss. I have it on today. And we're not, we're not empty yet, but we are so, so close. Hopefully you guys can see there just how close we are. I feel like I make roughly the same amount of progress every single month. So with looking at how much is left, I actually think if I make the same amount of progress as last month, this could be empty. And the thing is, this might not be one of them glosses where I take the stopper out and yeah, um, get every last drop out of it because the second I take the stopper out of this I'm not going to feel comfortable taking it in my handbag because I don't use a handbag at the minute I use my baby bag so obviously it's got all of my son's like important stuff in it so I wouldn't feel comfortable putting this in that bag with it not having the stopper in so I'll just see how much I can get out of it and I will take the stopper out if I'm just like filming at home and whatnot and I just need to you know update update <laughs> you know, retouch my gloss up. I will take the stuff out and use it for that reason and try and get as much of it out as I can. But I'm not 
100 percent sure if i'm going to be taking the stopper out of this if you know it just doesn't feel right but i am going to empty it as much as i can and i think this could be out by next update so i think we're in for a good update but anyway so this update i obviously emptied one product and sadly had to declutter another so we have two roll-ins so i'm gonna quickly show you what those are now so the first thing that I'm going to roll in is going to be an eyebrow gel. So this is the Essence Make Me Brow. I'm not going to lie to you, not the biggest fan of this. I have it on my eyebrows today because I wanted to try it. And honestly, it feels like there's nothing there. It doesn't really do anything. It just adds like a tint to my eyebrows. And honestly, I feel like it overfills them. Like I, the way my eyebrows was looking before I put this brow gel in was really, really nice. They just look really fluffy. I put this in and now they look like block eyebrows, which not ideal, but on a positive note, it is very dry. So I think I'll probably have maximum two months with this anyway. And I can struggle through that. I genuinely can, because I think this is gonna dry up before I actually empty it. So I'm just gonna keep using it as much as I can and try and get as much of that product gone as I can. And the next product I'm gonna roll in, I'm so excited for, but also slightly nervous. So they have new packaging for this, but this is the Doll Beauty Gimme Sun Bronzer. I have mine in the shade Light, and I really, really like this bronzer. It obviously already has pan. I can't remember if I worked on this in a previous project pan, and that's why it has pan, I'm not sure. But I love this bronzer and it's slightly more orangey and I don't mind that when we're getting into summer, which is why I'm rolling it in now. And I just want to watch that pan grow. I'm really excited to watch the pan grow because we've obviously done the hard bit. We've got to the pan. Now I just need to expand that pan. And yeah, I'm excited to work on this product and I'm really, really hoping I can empty it before the end of the year because there is another bronzer that I'd like to hit pan on this year. So hopefully I don't take too long to empty this, but I think it's gonna be a while. Well, I feel like I'll know more next update how long this is gonna take, because I'll know by how much I'm using of it. Um, but yeah, this is one of the oldest bronzers in my collection, so definitely needs to get out. And like I say, they even have new packaging for this now. So yeah, that is everything that I'm rolling in. But quick little... Um, what I think is going to happen next update. I think we're going to have two roll-ins. I think I should 100% be able to finish the e.l.f. putty primer and I also think I should be able to finish the um, lip gloss as well. So hopefully we should have another two roll-ins next update which would be great because that would mean we would have had six empty products by that point so that's just insane i'm really really excited about that um yeah i'm i'm just so excited guys i really really am but that is everything that i have for you guys today let me know what you think i'm going to be able to empty by next update because i am curious to see how you think i'm going to do do you think i've rolled the right products in i really hope you do because i'm nervous about the bronzer <laughs> um but that is everything that i have for you guys today leave a like if you enjoyed Leave a comment down below, by the way, if you are doing a project pan, because I would love to go and watch. I've kind of been watched, been watched, binge watched everyone that I currently follow their project pans for. So if you're doing one, let me know, because I would love to follow along. Please consider subscribing if you want to keep up to date with these updates or just when I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. I forgot my upload dates then. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm posting a lot more and yeah. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. This outro has been super, super rambly. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.